it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your card readings for the week starting the 10th of April. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and these are general readings so take from them everything which resonates with you, leave behind anything that doesn't but most of all I really hope you enjoy them. So let's get right on with your readings. This is the reading for Aries. So your overall energy here is the card, the page of wands. Now the pages are all messengers. We all have envelopes on the drawings. And this page of wands brings in messages of new opportunities, messages of new information, new ideas, creative projects, positive news. Look at our angel, she's collecting all this lovely information. And then she's going to get ready to act upon it. So stay awake this week for news coming in for you. Information about new projects and exciting new ideas. They're ready to find you. So make sure you're looking out for them. Your help or your hurdle is card 20, Reflection. And this card asks you to realise how far you've come. It's a time to just step back for a few minutes, realise how far you've come, realise how well you're doing before climbing to new heights. A time of reflection. This lovely angel here, look, she stopped. She's having a little cup of tea and a cake. And that's exactly what she's doing. And she's also planning her next exciting adventure. Our guidance here, we have the card, the Ten of Pencils. This is lovely. This tells you to expect the situation to improve. It says things are looking up and things are looking better. And our lovely angel, look, she's climbing the ladder there. And on each of the steps of the ladder, it says much better, even better, so much better. She's on her way. This card comes up quite often if things have been a little bit stuck for a while. And it tells you that things are going to start getting busy again. How can we help ourselves? Card number five, unity, is all about working with other people. It's working well together. Each of the angels is sitting around the table at a meeting and they each bring something differently. When they share their ideas and their wisdom and knowledge, this can help everyone move forward. So working in groups, mentors, teaching, having meetings and pooling information is really key mindfulness for you this week. Pulling it all together, we have the card, the Queen of Wands. This is the card of confidence. What a lovely confidence boost. Our Queen of Wands here, she knows how to manifest everything she needs. And she can do it with just a little movement of this wand that she's holding. She's the queen of wands. It even says, yes, I can on the wall, on a picture, because she knows she can. It's as easy as that. In a moment, look, she's got a cup of tea, a teapot and a cake. She also is very willing to share this information with other people. So it could be that somebody's coming in to help you, or it could be you helping somebody else, moving forward, showing them how you were successful or how to be successful. This is really key information here. Here's some information coming in, and this ties it up. This could tell you and help you with your next steps forward. And your outcome, it's beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune card, a very positive card, a card of movement forward again. Our lovely angel here, look, she's just about to pick up the wheelbarrow there. Just as importantly, she's taking with her all the gifts that she's learned, all the experience that she's got. Happiness, positivity, love, kindness, all these lovely gifts of success, they're all here. She's collected them all together and she's ready to move forward. So just to clarify, from the 
time to shine deck. The one of action card tells us of exciting new opportunities coming in. Here we go again. It's the what are you waiting for card. It reminds you to take the action and go for it. The ten of emotion card is the card of contented family life, trustworthy and loving relationships. It's the card of emotional fulfillment. The card, the ten of action, also reminds you after you've been busy with these new plans and things moving forward, remember to take a break. If you need one, remember to relax. And this card also says if you've been busy and you've been through a situation uh, that you've had to work hard towards, this tells you that that's over now and that things are moving forward. Another 10, two tens there. Things are moving forward in a new direction. The six of emotion card reminds you to consider what you always wanted to do. It's remembering the past with love. It could also be somebody from the past coming in to help you. So if there's a new opportunity coming in, something that perhaps didn't work out first time, now might be an ideal time for you to have another go. And the eight of action card is the card telling you it's going to get busy. Enjoy a busy new energy coming in. The delays are over. That's just what we said here. Lots going on at once. Um, expect things to get busy and expect things to start moving towards success for you. And finally, we have a double message here. Card number five, unity. This working in groups, working with others, seeking out mentors and teachers and new ways of working is key mindfulness for you this week to get you moving with these new opportunities towards this lovely new success for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.